Hola, buenos dias, good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Laniela, Miss Four Lizard, the planning diva. And I'm so glad to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some of your time here with me today. I really appreciate it. Today, I'm going to be working in my home life planner, my thick and juicy home life planner with my villains on it on the cover i just had to use this cover for halloween and it's time to set up my spread for the coming week so we're currently in the month of october here and check out my oh this divider every time i look at it my my heart sings but just a quick flip through of how my October spreads are looking. This is my monthly. I added this Carlsbad Caverns bat sticker over there. It looked so cool. I just got that on my um, vacation out to Texas and New Mexico. This is the first week in October, my classic pumpkin patch spread. I love how this one turned out. Check out this Carlsbad Cavern sticker though, this travel poster sticker. It's so cool. I think it looks really, really cool with this spread. And then this is the current week here. This is my elegant pumpkin patch spread all filled out. I journaled a lot this week because so much happened so much was uh was going on and i just think it looks super cool it's currently saturday the 15th so i have a couple of empty boxes there on the side but as you can see my aesthetic is very much like maximalist and it's i'm not going to apologize for it anyways today i am really excited for the idea that i have for the week of october the 17th through the 23rd I think I'm going to be doing a pastel pumpkin pastel Halloween spread using um, a bunch of scrapbook paper that I've had um, kind of laying around from last year. This came from a like pastel Halloween um, paper pack from Michaels. I haven't seen anything like this um, since this paper pack came out and I used up already so much of that paper. Um, last year so I only have like a bit of scrapbook paper left from that pack. I think this is more than enough for a couple more spreads um, but I have a good amount of paper here that I'm going to be using. I have some washi tape from Cafecita Designs and Simply Gilded and I also have some Halloween stickers um, I don't remember where I got this Halloween or when I got this Halloween sticker book. This is from Michaels, but I don't remember. <laughs> um, I don't remember when I got it. I think it was last year. And then I have some just like sticker sheets from a Halloween sticker book also from Michaels that I think came out two years ago. But I just kind of put all of this, um, you know, I just keep all these stickers together because they're all that kind of same vibe. And I think I'm gonna use these and I'm gonna use my scrapbook paper and I'm gonna turn out a really cute and fun pastel Halloween spread. So if you're interested in seeing what I do, um, just keep on watching. In terms of what's going on this week, I have a few things going on this week, kind of mostly towards Thursday through Sunday. I have a lunch, no, a dinner with a friend on Thursday, on Friday. Um, I believe I actually am dropping off off my pug bugs to the vet for surgery I'm getting a couple of skin tags removed from like his face and arms also on the 22nd I'm thinking that um, I'm gonna go to the Del Mar gem fair the gem and crystal fair with a friend on the 22nd I might also be going to a pumpkin patch on Saturday and then Sunday I'm thinking potentially going to an agriculture fair with um, my roommate and then the planner and wine podcast recording which I'm a patreon of that podcast I love planners and wine their podcast recording is on 11 at 11 a.m. on Saturday I believe I have to double check this and also I saw on Facebook that some ladies are getting together for a planner meetup in San Diego and so I need to figure out the details for that but I am thinking of potentially going to that so I have a lot of things going on here and I just need to like um, put things down on paper so I think the first thing that I'm going to do here is lay down some scrapbook paper 
Um, just as kind of like a background, I really, really like this, um, this scrapbook paper right here. I'm thinking of making of like a sidebar with it. I think that would be really cute. I feel like I'm gonna need my paper cutter though. Okay, to make things really like nice and clean, I think what I'm gonna have to do is use my ruler to um, measure how wide the sidebar is. It is five and a half um, centimeters wide and I'm thinking of potentially only um, having the scrapbook paper go up to the top of the boxes and thus leaving like October free there or like uncovered but I actually think I'm gonna take it all the way I think I am going to cover that October so okay let me see I'll pull off my page here and I think the first thing that I will do is just kind of line up both of these pages and use my paper trimmer here to just trim off the top there perfect and now it's cut to size and then I will go ahead and measure five and a half inches here um, using my ruler and then cut that so that we have a perfect sidebar. Perfect, perfect. So I'll just tape that down there with my um, Tombow adhesive. And we have a beautiful sidebar there. Very pretty, I already love it. <laughs> okay, and I also really want to use these guys right here. Um, I think these are just super, super cute. This might be a little bit too big, honestly. Um, let's see, but I would love to use this one for sure I want to use. Um, and I really, really like these big pumpkins. So I'm thinking potentially, um, let's see, maybe putting this one here and then it maybe, um, let's see. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a really classic like corner tear. And this is actually almost the exact same size as this piece of paper. So I'm thinking of just doing like a nice tear like so. So let me um, use my scissors to cut like a nice corner piece like so. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tear like a little piece of it so that it has that nice like distressed paper feeling. Oh shit, that was a little bit intense. Oh no. And I'm just gonna cut off a little bit of edge there so that it can match up really nicely with the page. I'll go ahead and tape that down. I actually really like this strip of scrapbook paper that was left over from cutting the sidebar. So I think I might um, add it right here. Let's do it. And I also have this idea of potentially using this spider web paper to um, cover the where the dates are and then using stickers to um, mark out the days and the dates. So I think I might do it. So let's cut this scrapbook piece of paper to size and fit it. And I really like this Let's Get Wicked scrapbook paper. So I will just add that here on the bottom. Love it. And I will go ahead and tape down this 
Um, trick or treat yourself, pumpkin. This one. Okay. Oh my goodness, my camera cut off once again, and I just had to take a couple of minutes to just go through my phone and delete a bunch of apps. It actually wasn't. Um, that I had a lot of video or footage or photos on my phone. I actually don't have a lot of photos or video right now on my phone. My iPhone does get full when I, you know, film and record up to like three, four videos and they're about like 40 minutes a piece. But I only had about like 35 minutes of footage on my phone at this point. And I can definitely store up to like two hours of footage on my phone usually. So I was really like not sure what was happening with my iPhone. And then I think it was just the number of apps. In the last couple of weeks, I've been downloading a lot of apps, um, particularly like for traveling, um, like airline flights airline apps and stuff and I just had a lot of apps I just kind of accumulated a lot of apps in the last couple of weeks and so I just went and just deleted I did a huge purging of apps on my iPhone and I think we should be good for now but I definitely missed like 90% of what I had done so this is what I came up with I'm not finished but basically um, the last thing you saw me put down I think was this let's get wicked and this like treat yourself and like pumpkin scrapbook paper basically what I did for the rest of this um, spread was I used my like uh, you know stickers I had left over from a pastel Halloween sticker book and also my this little Halloween sticker book from Michaels and my Mojo Jojo plans sticker book I used all of these stickers um, to create what I have here on the spread and something that I really liked um, I ended up using this Halloween sticker book to create this like pastel pumpkin patch here at the top and I used these like pumpkin stickers with the letters on them to represent the days of the week and I had a couple of um, different ones so it's kind of not super obvious that you know I have an M1 here for Monday and a T1 for Tuesday and here's my Wednesday pumpkin and so on it's not super obvious but I don't think it needs to be super obvious I think I'm pretty aware that um, this is representing Monday through Sunday but yeah I'm super bummed out that you weren't able to see like the entire process of how I was laying everything down and like my chatter um, throughout it all but this is what it looks like for now and I'm not completely done with it so we can still you know have some planning on camera oh something else I did was I grabbed this scrapbook paper this is like a spider web scrapbook paper and I lined the top of the pages with it and then I layered the pumpkins over it I have some nice journaling boxes over here and some to do's um, ready to go for the week and I also laid down a bunch of boxes here on this side of the page because I have a couple of events going on dinner with a friend on Thursday I have um a veterinarian appointment for my pug on Friday and then I just added this random sticker there um, I don't really have a plan for that one Saturday I have um, going to a crystal fair with a friend maybe going to a pumpkin patch um, a planner and wine podcast session Sunday an agricultural fair with my roommate so um, and uh, Indian dinner with my roommate so looking forward to that I have a quite a busy um, weekend this time around and also I think I am going to a planner meetup on this weekend so I think I'm going to grab a box from my Mojo Jojo plans and pop that down here um I'll put this aligned box down right here and let's see we'll see if that happens I'm gonna write down the details of that planner meetup I'm not sure if I'm going yet but I'll just pop that down there and if I do go then um, I'll write the details of that there and I kind of also want to add like a big journaling box down here um, because I think that would be nice to have like a nice big journaling box um, for the weekend so I'm gonna I'm gonna add this maybe like right here um, yeah just like right there and I really like these skull stickers so I'm thinking of adding a few here and there um, maybe one down there and then maybe one over here um, like right 
there. And let's see, what else can I add? I really like these like um, glass bell jars with the flowers in them. So I'm gonna add one right there. I think I have another one in this book. Oh, here it is. I kind of want to just add all these bell jars um, throughout the spread. I think I think they're just really, really pretty. So let me see, where can I fit in these bell jars here? Maybe one right there. And then this last one, I can maybe add this one. <gasps> okay, this one's gonna be a little tough to add. I've already kind of added a lot on this spread. Um, I wonder if I can peel this sticker. Nope, I'm not gonna peel that up. Uh, what if I peel this little pumpkin sticker and then add this bell jar there? And then I can move this pumpkin sticker like over here. And I kind of want to add this little like picture frame here, like right there. I think that would be really cute. Okay, I gotta stop adding things because it's gonna get super crowded really, really fast. I already feel like it's really crowded. And I mean, I am a maximalist. I do like that crowded look, but I also wanna leave myself room to add even more stickers and, um, and to write in it as well. So I'm thinking I might even try to like consolidate some of these stickers. Maybe what I can do is move this one over here. And yeah, I think I'm gonna add this one back here. And if I decide that I want more room to journal, I can continue to add box stickers on top of the scrapbook paper so that I have room to write on if I so desire. But I think that's it for now. I really like how it turned out, of course. I'm a big sucker for like pastel Halloween and I'm just gonna um, punch these pages so that I can add it into my happy planner here. But yeah, I'm a huge fan of this aesthetic. I love it so much. I actually have done quite quite a bunch of like pastel Halloween spreads in my art book before I was happy planning. I was just kind of um, bullet journaling basically in like a blank page art book. And, and then two years ago for Halloween, I decided to do like a whole bunch of pastel Halloween spreads. And so I used a bunch of that pastel Halloween scrapbook paper. Um, that's why I don't have a lot of it nowadays. But I used a bunch of that scrapbook paper. I used like two sticker books filled with like pastel Halloween um, stickers and it just turned out so beautiful. And I remember like this, those spreads were some of my favorite I ever made. And, um, and I think I'm gonna have to just actually punch these individually because I'm having a bit of trouble putting it into my um, hole punch here. So let me grab my individual puncher. I need to get the crocodile punch. Right now I'm just using like this little um, like individual puncher that punches out hearts actually, um, but it works. Anyways, I was saying that I really enjoyed um, making pastel Halloween spreads and I made a bunch two years ago and um, I had a lot of fun with that. I wish I had that art book to show you them, um, but right now it's in my office and I'm actually locked outside of my office. Um, I have I have to kind of swipe into the building to access my, uh, my office and I hadn't cleared it out by the time they kind of revoked my like swipe access. So I need to like uh, get in the contact with my old um, work colleague and get him to let me into to our office space. But all my art books are in there and so I just don't have access right now. So this is the finished spread and I love how it turned out. I think it's so beautiful and I just am in love with this. I actually really like how the spine um, of these pages is this maroon. I think it goes really well with the overall um, spread. 
And before I let you all go, I'm gonna quickly write down all of my plans for the upcoming weekend here. Okay, I wrote down everything that I needed to write down, all the things that are happening this weekend, and I think it looks so cute and so pretty. I'm very happy with how this spread came out. Um, this is very much my aesthetic, like pastel, um, dainty, cute, but also like a little hint of um, spookiness. So this is beautiful. Anyway, I'm so sorry that the footage cut out. I hope you enjoyed this plan with me anyway. Um, let me know what you think about this spread in the comments down below. Are you a fan of Pastel Halloween? Let me know. I hope you're doing wonderfully wherever and whenever you are, and I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, and stay spooky. Bye!